Texas. Laney, what's going on with Rich? Rich and I have been dating uh, just an under two years now, and he's a great guy. When we first met, he was an EMT, and I just loved that about him. He, he's just so kind and, and really, you know, put others first and had a great job and we you know it was wonderful about a year in he got fired mm. and from being an EMT yeah like laid off or how does no it was actually like fired and the reason why was what he told me was it was because he was taking things from the job oh so i i didn't I didn't want to like go into it too much. I I trusted him with everything that he told me. I didn't think he was lying or anything. So, whatever he got fired from the job. In in between, he's been working a bunch of like temp jobs here and there. It, it just for for the last pretty much year, it's been a little rough for him. I mean, I, I essentially I've been covering for him. He lives with me. I. I have been supporting him, you know, with the rent and with food and with, you know. So, um, he ended up recently connecting with someone on LinkedIn for this job that is like a med medical sales job um, in Virginia. Okay. And two weeks ago, he actually went to Virginia and he was supposed to drive up just for the night and meet this girl there who mm. was... He had, you know, the job. Well, that one night ended up turning into two, which then turned into three. That's strange. And mm -hmm. I, like, barely heard from him the entire time. And something just, it, it just doesn't, something just doesn't feel right about it. And I have this weird feeling that he hooked up with this girl. Did he get the job? That's the thing. He hasn't yet, but they're interested, and he needs to go back this weekend for another interview, he said. Here's one thing I will say. He was honest about being fired for stealing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, at least he has been somewhat honest. Yeah, but... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just have this gut, you know, this feeling yeah, in my gut. Yeah, I get it. And that was, a, that was a while ago, yeah. you know? I don't like the fact that he was supposed to be gone for one night and ended up staying yeah. for three. It wasn't like weather or anything held him, right? No. When he was away, it was just like, I, I got, I think, a text message at like maybe 9 p.m. Um, like the first night just saying, hey, staying longer. Yeah. Okay. And that, it was just, I, that just like never happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't know. It just was weird. Roy's going to dial Rich up. We'll find out who he sends him to. Don't say anything until we get as much information out of him as we can, okay? All right. And then if he doesn't send him to you, you can have Adam. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh -huh. Hello? Hi, I'm looking for Rich, please. Yeah, this is him. Hi, Rich. My name is Katrina. I'm calling from Flowers for You. And the reason for my phone call today is I have your name and number here as the winner of our Instagram tag contest. We're doing some social media uh, raffles where we're giving away $100 in beautiful free red roses. And one of your friends tagged you in our post, and we randomly selected you to get those roses. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do you have someone in mind that you would like to send romantic roses to? Um... Well, let me ask you, um, do you guys send them, like, anywhere? Like, can I send it out of state? Yeah, absolutely. Um, anywhere in the U.S., anyway. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I know someone I, I want to send them to. Okay. Uh, and who would you like to send them to? Um, can you make it out to Melanie? Okay. Melanie, and I have a card to go with these roses as well. What can I print on the card for you? Um, uh, just put, hey... Uh, you're an amazing person, and I cannot wait to move closer. Okay. Are you f***ing kidding me, Rich? You can't wait to move? Like, Lainey? who the hell is Melanie? Yeah, yeah it's um, me. Rich, that it's is me. Lainey. What the, you, you, I, I don't even have words for you right now. Yeah, so this is the Mania Morning of the Red Morning Show, War of the Roses. I mean, Rich, your notes spelled it out clearly here if you ask me. 
serious. You gotta be kidding me. No, we're not. You are cheating with someone that's out of state. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. Lainey, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't plan on... You're sorry? Are you kidding me right now? After everything I've done for you? Everything. I've given you everything. I've taken care of you. You, you've been sleeping with me in my house, in my condo. Like, I've been paying for everything for you for the last year. Like, forget about actual emotional love and support that I've given you. Let's talk about financial. I mean, how about we add it up, Rich? How about we add up the $800 or so that I pay for you for splitting our rent, all the money that I pay for you for your food every single month? How, how about we add that up? You, you probably owe me about $5,000. And at this point... I, I I want my money, and I don't even I don't want to see you again. If you want to go move with this girl, whatever, but you owe me five thousand dollars at the very least. Rich. I mean, all right, Lainey, let's. I mean, like, come on, let's not get crazy here. I mean, you you were in a relationship. It's not, that crazy. it's not like there was a contract. Rich, you, know, you just you said start... you were moving somewhere. I didn't say that I was definitely moving somewhere. Uh, your note. To Melanie said, and because I write the notes down, it said, "Can't wait to move and be closer to you." Yeah, but that so now I owe everybody who I'm in, you know, who does. Oh no, that's that's, that's that's between you and 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 Lainey. I, I don't know. I mean, Lainey says she wants five thousand dollars. I mean, I I can't even like hear your voice anymore. I don't want to talk to you about this anymore. But in, it, I'll, I'll give you two months, but in two months, I better have $5,000, and I don't want to have anything else to do with you, and enjoy the rest of your life, wow. and thanks for, you know, ruining the last two years of mine. Wow. Mm. I mean, what, Lainey, how, how do you expect me to really even come up with that money? That's, that's, this is crazy. <laughs> you know what, big boy, that's for you to figure out, isn't it? Maybe you can ask, uh... How how about you? How about you're going to get this new job in Virginia, huh? Yeah. Go get that. Then you can pay me. After you move in with Melanie, you can ask yeah. her for five grand. Yeah, because that's what you do. Mooch off the people you date. Right, yeah. Well, apparently it was all about money with her anyway. Cause, I mean, that's why she's been so resentful towards me anyways. You know, always oh, counting please. money. I'm not having this that's conversation anymore. I'm done. You're disgusting. That's it. I'm not even giving you any more time to speak because you don't deserve it. So goodbye. I want five thousand dollars in two months. No, I don't think so. Want more War of the Roses? Listen to them on demand anytime using the Kiss ninety five one app or Amazon Alexa.